guys welcome back to my channel here we have my vintage shoe collection most of my shoes range from the 1930s to the 1960s i've had qu quite a lot of these shoes for a long period of time uh, most of them i purchased about 20 years ago um, up until more recent even uh, this is one of my favorite pairs right here i've worn those quite a lot and they have had a matching purse to them this pair and the next pair i got on a double listing on etsy They're some of my favorite pairs that I have. These are a more recent purchase, um, probably within the last six years. Same with these. They were also purchased around the same time. Now I will have uh, more info um, or more of a background on a lot of these shoes down in the description box. Um, also, if there are any uh, like reproduction styles that are close to these, I will have that linked down below as well. That way, if you would like to get something sim similar, uh, you'll be able to. These here are probably one of my favorite pair, 50s pair. Uh, that I wear with a lot of my 50s dresses. This is another favorite pair of mine uh, that I tend to wear with a lot of my 40s dresses. Uh, definitely a go-to. Now I don't do 60s quite as often, uh, like I said but um, pink is one of my favorite colors besides purple so when i saw these uh, in a local store i had to have them now these are actually slippers but they're just so cool i just couldn't not wear them <laughs> as regular shoes these are also a more recent purchase probably within the last six years as well um, and I absolutely love them. They're the most gorgeous shade of emerald green. Now these I've had about for uh, 20 years and they were originally slingbacks, uh, but the slingback portion disintegrated and I had to remove them. These are another pair I've, I've had more than 15 years as well. Um, and they're a beautiful navy blue color uh, with the little slits on the side. Now, these shoes I've had for around 10 years now. Uh, they were my first and probably my only uh, spring and later purchase, um, but they're probably one of the most comfortable shoes that I own. And then these were purchased um, probably within the last two years, so definitely my most recent, uh, and they're quite comfortable. I love them a lot. Now these are the infamous flexi clogs. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> uh, they are flexible wooden bases and then had interchangeable uh, plastic straps that went all the way through the shoes. Uh, now these purple ones were my first purchase in the flexi clogs uh, that I got from Etsy. Um, and as you can see, these are the bottoms and they're quite flexible. Now this one does have a lining, so they're not as flexible as my other pair, but you can kind of see the point of them. 
and they're really, really cool shoes. Uh, they did have a purse, but I haven't been able to find one. Uh, and then here's the coral pair that I have as well. Now these don't have the lining on the inside, so you'll be able to see when I flex my foot um, how they really bend and flex with my foot here. Now these here that I have on the Lazy Susan, uh, these are probably more my special uh, occasion shoes that I don't wear as often. Um, some of them are older, uh, my 1930s shoes. Um, so they tend to be a little bit more fragile, so I try not to wear them too often. Um, you know, or I may wear them just for a quick photo uh, and then I'll change out of them and into something more modern or reproduction um, just to be more comfortable throughout the evening, um, you know, depending on what I'm doing. I love these. I don't get to wear them that often. Same with these. Uh, these actually match a dress that I have um, and I got these uh, with the dress as a set um, about 15 years ago. This was also, these shoes are also part of a set uh, with a matching dress that I've had for probably 10 years now um, and I love them. They're a gorgeous burgundy shade. Now these, I would say, are probably my most unique pair of shoes that I have. Um, the front portion of them, how they have that cut out, I just, ugh, it does something to me. <laughs> uh, these are also a more recent purchase, uh, probably within the last six to 10 years. And then these are my most damaged pair that I have. Ugh, I wore these things to Viva one year and um, in the in the sole area the nails are coming through and man <laughs> by the end of Viva my feet were bleeding but uh, I absolutely love them I, I just I think they're just so stunning but they're just in really really bad shape Are we done with the video already? Well, I guess we are if you made it this far. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video um, showing you my whole collection of shoes. Uh, well, actually not the whole collection, but if you would like to see more, uh, leave a comment down below um, and I'll do a part two to show you more shoes and even some of my reproduction vintage shoes because I have quite a lot. <laughs> So uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.